All right, class, today's the last day of ministry school. Professor Ross, that's wild. I cannot believe we're graduating. I'm ready to start kicking butt and taking names. Huh? huh? For the kingdom. Duh. Oh. Paige, how'd the interview go? Well, you're looking at the new youth pastor of Agape Church. Paige, I'm so proud of you. But remember what we've been saying all semester long? Ministry is rewarding, but it's also incredibly hard. Let's see it again. One last time. Ministry is hard. Harder than I can imagine. But just because it's hard, doesn't mean it's not good. So I jumped into my first full-time ministry role. I couldn't have been more excited. I was ready to conquer the world. My first month was perfect. I thought, ministry can't be that hard, right? From the start, I connected with all of my students. What they go through, I went through. A boy broke my arm. I got grounded. I failed my AP test. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> wow, ministry's a breeze. And there was one student who was just like me. She is my mentor. You hear that? I'm her mentor. It was effortless until I received this call. Hey, Pastor Paige, it's Ruth. Gracious mom, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to tell you this, but my husband and I were in a car accident and Dave didn't make it. I just don't know how to break the news to Grace. I'm so overwhelmed. Can you just take her home and be with her until I get this sorted? Miss Beck, can you please sign I'm this? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Do you want me to tell her? Um, Grace, what's up? There's no easy way to tell you this, but your parents were just in a car accident. Your mom is fine, but your dad didn't make it. What? There's no way. He texted me an hour ago. Grace, I'm so sorry. This was the hardest conversation I've ever had. We sat and I prayed, but the only thing Grace wanted was to see her dad again, and I couldn't make that happen. This was the moment where I realized Professor Ross was right. Ministry is hard. My first couple of years of ministry brought several tough conversations. Oh, it never got easier, but so what I signed up for. But what I didn't sign up for was this. Church staff, thanks for making this last minute. I have to share some news that'll affect all of us. Did they finally catch the rats? No, say budget cuts. <gasps> Did Gertie and the choir fall and break her hip again? I wish, but no. It's been brought to my attention that Pastor has been caught in an extramarital affair and the board has accepted his resignation. No way. They had the perfect marriage. Pastor's just gone? I don't know. When will this be announced to the church? What happens to his office? Who was it with? I don't know. Who's going to take over? When did this happen? How'd they find out? I don't know. Was it ongoing? Just wait till the news gets out. Will we lose our jobs? I don't know. I don't know. What does this mean for me? I mean, Pastor's my mentor. I looked up to him and this, this hurts. Do I stay for my students? Or do I go to a different church? Should I leave ministry completely? I don't know. But what I do know is that ministry is hard. It's harder than I can imagine. After months of prayer, I stayed in. It was never easy, but what kept me going was the kids. That message really spoke to me. Thank you for always being there for me. You're like a mother to me. I couldn't leave them, especially not Kate. A baby, if you ever leave, I'd literally die. I always say that kids aren't inconvenienced. But Kate, eh, there's always something going on in Kate's life. And most of it stems from daddy issues. There was always a different boy. Brad, Bryce, Ben, Blaine, Bo. Okay, we get it. There were a lot, but no more boys. Jesus is all I need. Mm -hmm. Which is why we're not going to date anymore. Right? Right. Kate was MA the next couple weeks. And on my text, hey, you coming to small groups tonight? Haven't seen you in a bit. Hope you're okay. Praying for you. Coffee soon? I knew something big was happening. And I was right. Two months later, Kate came back to church. Hey, PP. I'm sorry I've been ignoring you. Um, there's no easy way to tell you this, but I'm pregnant. You are right. Are you happy? I can think of a thousand words to describe how I feel. Disappointed. Confused. Concerned. But happy is not one of them. I just don't know what to do. Everyone's given up on me. Blake's gone. My parents won't talk to me unless I get rid of it. I have an appointment scheduled for tomorrow. Can you just pray for me? Of course. Ministry is hard. Harder than I could imagine. But I'm trusting that just because it's hard, that appointment Kate had scheduled wasn't for an abortion. It was an ultrasound appointment. And I'll never forget her words. You always told me people are inconveniences. So I'm choosing to believe this baby isn't an inconvenience to me. Sometimes you don't even realize the impact you're making. Kate named your baby girl after me. Can you believe it? There are still some days where I just want to quit, but I have to remember. Ministry is hard, harder than I can imagine. But just because it's hard, it doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah!